Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting Minecraft Let's Play episode, and it's been a while, hasn't it? But I'm back, doing my Let's Play series again. And anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Today, I wanted to do something special. Uh, I installed a couple of mods. I'm not sure if it's obvious or not, but uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first of all, Wild Grass, which is kind of as it explains, uh, grass, which... Uh, kind of looks like little shrubs uh, growing all across the grass tiles. Kind of make it look more like grass is actually growing instead of just flat on the ground. Which, of course, makes everything look more natural and kind of more plant life-like-ish. But there's more than that. But first, before we get to that, let's uh, go ahead and show you two other mods I installed. Uh, if you look at my glass, uh, here's the front of it, which is how it normally is, but when you put other glass next to it, it kind of molds together to make one big piece of glass. So instead of having tiles of glass, you just basically have one big piece. Um, let me show you a better example, like right here. These are two pieces together, but it looks like uh, just one big one. And of course, you can do that with other pieces as well. Let me show you a quick little example. Oh, wait. That isn't my glass. There we go. Um, let me show you right about here. Uh, when you put the glass together, even though that's four blocks of glass, it kind of molds to make one big one. That way you don't have all those annoying lines in the middle, and it looks much nicer. And of course, if you break it, it kind of moves back into what it was. Okay, um, let's see. Oh yes, better chest as well. This is also designed by the same person that made better uh, glass. I can't think of his name right now, but I'll probably add it in later. Oh, of course, I will be linking all these in the description. But basically what it does is it takes the top half of the chest and pretty much does the same thing where it kind of morphs into one large chest. Um, instead of having two single chests for the tops, it kind of makes it look a little bit more natural. Um, I'll have to change this myself, but... Uh, because I'm not too happy with the design. I actually made these designs for the top myself, uh, considering you have to use your own textures depending on your pack. Um, anyway, what else do I need to show you? Oh, yes, the Better Grass mod. First of all, well, not Better Grass, uh, Wild Grass. I get them confused. Better Grass just puts grass on the side of tiles that adjacent to other grass, but I don't know. It doesn't look that good on big hilly areas, only on small hills. So I'll uh, probably pass that up for now. Uh, and generally, whenever you place flowers on the ground, you have your default texture, whatever they look like. But when you place them on other surfaces or different biomes, it has different effects, such as grass. It turns into a little cactus. Well, cactus flower. It's not actually supposed to be a cactus. It's a little uh, flowering cactus. Uh, the cool thing is it actually hurts you when you step over it. And, uh, of course, this one, um, I kind of had to pick a design for. I didn't really, I'm not too happy with this one. Uh, this is just kind of like a little desert flower I picked. Again, it doesn't look that great because it kind of, I might have to uh, fix it to make it look better. But hopefully we can find something better. Uh, when you put it on top of water, and they have to be a block directly under the surface or else it won't plant properly. Uh, when you put the yellow one down, it turns into a lily pad. And when you put the red one down, it turns into a lily pad with a flower on top. It's really cool because it adds more uh, life to the game. And of course you can... It's really good for smaller ponds where you can, you know, plant them all over, make it look lifelike. Um, hold on, let's see. The other thing I want to show is it has vines now. And this is a perfect tree for vines. Um... Basically, I think they can grow naturally, but I'm not sure. I've never seen any. But basically what it does is whenever you plant reed at the bottom of a leaf block, it turns into vines, which uh, kind of all connect. I also designed this uh, vine block or vine texture myself, which I think came out really nice. Um, anyway, the cool thing about these is you can actually climb them uh, kind of faster than ladders too, I think. You move up really fast, then you kind of move slow. Uh, and the cool thing is, when you just punch here, it just uh, breaks them all away. It's a really cool mod. I really like it. It adds more flora to the game. Uh, let's see. I think that's about it for these. Oh, yes. Um, well, I'm going to have to make my way over there anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and go up here, and I'll show you the last two flowers. Uh, they have some other flowers. Uh, again, I think it changes depending on the biome that it's in. 
Uh, but this one is either jungle or meadow. I'm not really sure what the difference is. But um, again, like I said, the, the flowers change depending on where you place them. So let's see if I can find... Because I remember coming up here and trying it, and they were in a completely different biome. Or not biome, but I think like a forest biome. Either way, let's uh, try to climb this mountain and get up here. Ah, there we go. Perfect example. There's a flower already growing there. Uh, when you plant the flowers here, or in a different biome, like I said, uh, they turn into a different texture. I decided to use these. Uh, I think they look pretty good. Uh, kind of a meadowish look. They don't really look like they fit in. I might have to darken them a bit. But otherwise, they look pretty good. Uh, oh, for the uh, tall grass mod, or the wild grass. Uh, it grows, it can grow pretty high, but in my texture pack I decided to uh, get rid of the taller grass and have it more uh, standard height. Like it has different heights, but uh, it, it doesn't really get too tall, so it doesn't look overrun, it just makes it look kind of naturally flowing. Uh, the cool thing is whenever you, uh, you don't have to worry about getting rid of grass or anything, you can just place a block, or place a block over it, and it's like it wasn't even there. Uh, the cool thing is too, I don't have a hoe with me, but if you have a hoe, you can right-click on it like you were plowing the field, and it uh, cuts the grass, or trims it down. But like I said, it was kind of a hassle for me, so I just made it all relatively short. But anyway, now that I'm done showing off all those kick-ass mods... And the cool thing is, all of these mods, I'm pretty sure they're non-evasive, meaning even though they uh, technically add stuff to the game, whenever you take them away or try to load them up, uh, for someone that doesn't have them, it shouldn't cause any corruption or any problems at all. It's pretty much all purely graphical. And those are actually my favorite types of mods, the ones that just make the game look better and don't really add anything. Although the ones that do add stuff are pretty cool. Uh, speaking of which, uh, my texture pack is now uh, released on the forms officially. I'll be linking that in the description below. Um, and I plan on actually... Uh, actually adding tons of mod support for it, so you can have um, monsters, uh, items, all kinds of stuff that fit my texture pack, even when you use other mods like uh, Mo Creatures. Um, I basically planning plan on adding mod support for pretty much every mod I can find. Of course, it's going to take time, but I plan on adding things for like Mo Creatures, baby animals, etc. Uh, anyway, uh, speaking of which, uh, since, for me, texture pack designing is kind of a collaborative effort. Uh, so, if any of you have any textures you want to submit for my texture pack, feel free, and I might add them. Okay, I think I've cleared enough of this. Enough of me talking. Uh, what I plan to do is I plan to be building my house soon, or my base, because I am terrible at building houses that aren't underground in some way. Simply because, I mean, I could build the decent looking house I have before, but they never come out right because I either have to make the outside look good or the inside look good. There's never really any uh, middle ground. Um, and if there is a middle ground, you generally have to sacrifice a little bit on both to have a balanced look, and I'd rather just have the inside looking good. Um, but let's see. What I'm going to do up here is I plan on clearing all of this out killing this pig. Come here, pig. Jeez. At least I have some pork now. Um, I plan on clearing all this out so it's flat-ish. Then I plan on making a tree farm, because there's no really good flat area around here that I can do this on. So I'm going to probably do it up here, since this is a nice open plateau. Do I have any diamonds on me? Because I might have to make a shovel. Let's see, um, oh yes, I plan on making my base inside of this mountain. I have tons of neat little ideas I'm going to... Crap, I need to go back and get some freaking... Mer. Um, tons of ideas for my base. Crap, it's getting dark. I might have to bring my bed over here, or a bed over here. Ooh, this is a long way down. Let's see if I can... Jump! No, 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 no! Aha, I made it. Oh yeah, I am good. Okay, um, I plan on putting my base into the side of this mountain here, or maybe over there. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, but I have a pretty rough idea of what I want to do in my head. Hopefully it all works out for the best.
And then, of course, I'll make all this look nicer. I plan on doing more videos of my LP series again as well, so you don't have to worry too much about that. Um, oh, yes, I need to get a shovel. Oh, I have a diamond shovel. Ooh. Uh, don't need these. Don't need this stuff. I'll come back for it later. Uh, get rid of these. I can make my place look prettiful later. I could probably use some more torches. Do I have any extra? Don't think so. I'll take a crafting bench. Uh, put up all these logs that I can't fit. Um, I think I'm almost done. Tree farms aren't that hard to make. Wait, what? Okay. Sapling, sapling. Um, I think this is about it. I shouldn't need too much more. I'll grab some cobblestone in case I need it. And I guess, actually, I'll take some uh, logs just in case I need them. But let's go ahead. Oh, right. I need another bed. Wait, is that wool? Crap. Um, planks. Do I have any? Don't think I do. Doesn't matter. Um, I cannot. Oh, there they are. And my workbench. One, two, three. One, two, three. And let's go to bed before something attacks us. And I'm pretty sure I have it on normal, considering I didn't heal that half heart by now. So we should be fine. Oh wait, can't do it from here. There we go. Ah, <sighs> bed. Oh crap! No! You will not have my innards. Ah! Ah! Okay, I'm I'm failing at this. Okay, I am just failed today. Oh god, something's gonna kill me. Get him, boy! Get him! Get him! Quick before I die! Did he get him? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, here we go. Put the block here. Ah, oh, crap! Please respawn me in my bed, because I do not feel like walking all the freaking way back over there. <sighs> oh, hey, it worked. Uh, not that that does me much good right here, because that thing's just going to kill me again! Ah, uh, useless dog! Useless! Useless! Ah, uh, die! God... Ah! Uh. Freaking dog. I appreciate it, Commander Shepard, but... You... I don't know how you're going to protect the Earth from the Reapers, I swear. Did I have armor on? Yeah, I did. Uh, okay. <sighs> Might need more light. Might need to die less. That works, too. Uh, I'll grab some food. And hopefully not die again in the middle of the night. Although I should make a diamond sword. Do I have diamonds? I should have diamonds. Get rid of this crappy uh, iron one. Get a new, improved diamond sword. Oh crap, you freaking skeleton douchebags. Haha! -ha. Didn't expect my wolf, did you? Oh, my wolf is gonna die, isn't he? Get him! Good boy! Oh, crap, I hurt myself. Okay, come on. You need to go back in your doghouse. We need to go back to bed. Um. Come on. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Come on. Come on. You're the good boy. Ah, God! God! Freaking skeletons! I swear, these bastards are starting to piss me off. How'd you get in there? You know what? We're just going to skip today. Hopefully. Put some more torches out. Alright then. Oh, he's drowning. <sighs> okay, our dog just died because he teleported into the water and drowned. Great. And why did I get woken up? I'm not sure. This is a very bad night so far. I'm probably going to die. 
I'm not gonna die. Well, there'll be other wolves. Poor Commander Shepard. He wasn't the best dog in the wor world, but God damn it, he was my dog. Ah, <sighs> let us uh do something for him. Okay. Um. Hmm. I have an idea. Do I have any stairs? I think I do somewhere, but I don't know. Okay, um... And we need... well... We're going to be getting a new dog eventually, so... There we go, and we'll, uh... Let's find a good little spot to bury him. Or whatever remains of him. Ah, there we go. Perfect little spot right here. Um, hmm. Perhaps a little too tall. Uh, no, you need three crap. Um, it's okay, I can just jump back over there. It's a little too tall, so we're going to have to make one slab. Oh, hey, that's done smelting. Uh, perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and dump this in there while we do this. Okay, um... Don't think I have any stone slabs. Gonna have to make some. And there's a pig. Perfect. Uh, one, two, three. There we go. Okay, let's go back over here and make him a proper grave. There we go. Here lies Shepherd. God, I'm always bad at these things. Uh, no, that might be a little too mean. Um, there we go. He died fighting. Although, I could have probably put something at the bottom that I thought would have been better. Uh... Cerberus won't be coming for him this time, but again, that seems kind of a little morbid. 